Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I am bringing you episode one of the February 2020, hello, 2022 uh, Minecraft Hardcore Challenge, which has been brought to us this time by BSM because Baker Bell is no longer our presenter. Uh, so we are in the Axolotl Haven Challenge. We are supposed to create a safe haven for axolotl by building them an aquarium or a terrarium. And he gave us some coordinates to look for, and I think that's what I'm going to do. But I think I saw when I first came in, yep, there's some mountainous stuff over there that probably has coal. And I think that's what I want to do is get over there and uh, get some of that. Let's see. Um, I don't want to leave trees hanging here. How about, I'm going to need a lot of wood anyway, so, oh, that's too big. Let's get some of the smaller ones maybe around the edges, or maybe just some oak, because then I can maybe get apples. Let's try that. Let's do it. And make a few little tools and a, bo a boot, a boat, to get over there. Um, and see what we can do. Uh, I was trying to play with, uh, okay, first of all, my computer has been giving me fits for about two or three weeks and finally uh, four days ago now I had to just stop everything and do a reset and have it all you know I'm just I'm re reinstalling programs had all my files backed up and all that kind of stuff Ooh, food okay and uh, but I have gotten obviously very late for this first episode and I'll be just tonight, I'm very well. It's very early in the morning on Sunday the sixth, and I will be recording two episodes, and then I will <laughs> basically be uploading them back to back. Okay, I didn't see any more of those. Is this? No, those are usually not oak. They are usually the the uh, which we call it the jungle trees, which I want. But right now, I want to just get some of this going and go over and get some coal which is bound to be in those those kind of mountain settings so I'll just go do that here in a few minutes and then I can get underneath and go mining too and then if I find um, let's make two things here I'm gonna make a whole set actually just because yeah I have enough because I might be a little while before I do uh, yeah that's right there we go and one of these just get it all ready, just at least I have those. I can always burn them, doesn't matter. Oh, no, 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 that goes over there. And I want when I get over there, I want to make sure that I be, am able to dig coal right away. Because I have seen these mountains already. Not these mountains, but I mean these kinds of mountains in the new stuff in 1.18, and they are generally full of coal. I'm not sure what they're called right now because I'm not sure of all of the different biomes, but maybe they're Rocky Mountains or something like that. They're different, and they have tons of coal, and some of these other biomes don't. And, and as they changed it to 1.18 out of the snapshots, I had not realized earlier, like last month when I was doing challenge, um, and when I started the Hardcore Museum Challenge either, that the coal now is not uh, generally available down really low. It used to be, and in the snapshots it was. Now it's different. So I want to make sure that I have a good supply of that. This is why I should have made two of these instead of two of the pickaxes or two of both. I don't like leaving trees hanging, and this is a good supply of wood. So it's going to do this, and we're going to make a boat here in just a couple of seconds. Whoa, don't just stand. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Either one I was going to stand on was going to dump me. Okay. All right. Oops, one more down here. Let's get all this wood picked up. All right. Okay, so one of the things that we is still constant about the MHC is that we cannot eat um, meat. We can eat fish if we catch it with a with a fishing pole. We can't uh, just kill the uh, beautiful fish that are out there right now. I'm going to leave a few of those there and make 
more of these, make a few more sticks. That way when I get some stone over here, I will be able to make use of it. Oh, 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 I should have made the boat. I need a boat. That's a little bit far to swim right now. And I think that's the wrong direction for the coordinates that he told us, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. I will come back. I have my coordinate written down for the spawn. That's okay then. Yeah, see, I can't kill those fish and eat them. I can fish for fish and eat them, and I can find fish in chests and eat them. Oh, is that... Wait, wait, wait. What kind of a tree is that? Because if that is... I don't think it is, though. See, now with Optifine in, I would have been able to... Uh, I would have been able to... It's not, obviously. Um, to use the C on the keyboard to do a quick... I don't think I'm going to get that bunch. I see more over there. Okay. Um, to see in the distance. But Optifine, when I tried loading it, I have to reinstall it because of, of the new stuff. And I had been using it successfully. I hadn't had any problems with it before, but now I need to, to redo it. Um, there we go. That's what I want right there. Some coal. Oh, come on. And some stone. So... Yeah, um, it was giving me OpenGL orders like every two seconds and showing up in the chat. So I turned off Optifine and sure enough, everything's fine. I have tested like, all my all my software, other than Microsoft software, of course, has, um, you know, has, is gradually getting reloaded. Some things that I probably won't put back on because I've had, it, you know, the same thing going for a couple of years now uh, since... Uh, 20 early in 2019 actually so it's been building up building up and then I started having errors on my Windows update thing it's the final one for Windows um, 10 that is not wanting to load correctly giving me an error um, which even now after the reset after it's done all of its other updates is still happening which is you know Windows so I have another hard drive coming, a bigger one than what I have now, and I'm planning on just waiting. Uh, this is running okay now. My, the computer's running fine, not giving me any lag, lag times, stuff like that. So it should do a better job of playing this, too. Um, but yeah, it took me four days to just get everything going, having trying to fix errors and do all sorts of stuff and wait and wait and wait and nothing would happen that I wanted to happen and then I couldn't type things and I couldn't open files and all that kind of stuff. So now we're doing good and, and the, the machine is not constantly trying to search for something or whatever it was doing. It was just going boom, 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 all the time. Now it is only making noises when I'm... Um, when I am playing a game or something like that. So it is actually running. It's, it's not a very quiet machine at all. Um, it has been a very faithful refurb that I got from Amazon a few years ago. And I'm glad to have it. Um, it has a lot of RAM. It has a, uh, a quad-core Intel processor. And uh, yeah, so I'm okay. And my video card has another four gigs of RAM, and so you know, we do all right with that kind of stuff. So we're, we're okay, and we're back up and running, and it's been a long, hard four days, I'll tell you that. Just, you know, I'm sure you probably know anyway, most people that run Windows, at least, or any kind of uh, system for that matter, are going to know how much work it takes sometimes to get back when it's been giving you problems. So every time I try to go do something, I think, okay, I have all my files. It's, it's, that's okay. So um, not worried about that. Um, there's a couple things that I have to do. Uh, one thing that happened to me last night was just I was getting things all ready and had come in and gotten the game going. Everything was working good there, um, even with Optifine um, for at least a little bit, but I think it's when I put a, the brand new version of um, of Action in with Optifine and then realized that I had reinstalled the Optifine, which I should do. Anyway, so so I needed to get my financial software going, and we're going to have to go down here. And we do have a little bit of food to eat, and that's good. 
So I think we can get back into the jungle. And let's see how we got plenty of that. Whoa. That was a little bit of a lag there. I'm going to quickly search <sighs> jungle, of course, to see if I can find any any more melons. And that looks like there might be one or two over there. They're easier to find without Optifine on. I don't want to be in here in the dark very long. But I w do want to get some dirt and do that kind of stuff. So we're going to run down and hide. And uh, let's see, we could get closer to the... Um, hmm, the 35, we're, we're past it. I'm not sure I'm going to have to, I'm going to use those coordinates. I might, but for now we're just going to dig down a little bit. So, anyway, so I started to put my old <sighs> Microsoft Money 2006 software in. I, I put its, its uh, official CD into the drive, and uh, my m my computer was up on edge, which is one way you can do it. Um, it's an older HP version of a, of a case, uh, so the CD did not have a snap-in thing. CD uh, machine drive didn't have a snap-in thing, and uh, but the the um, Let's put this. Yeah, it's in the right place. Okay. So um, that was not what I wanted to do. Okay. Put the um, <laughs> really <laughs> having real good fun with this here. All right. I just want to put that in there and that, and I can make some torches real quick while you can't see anything. <laughs> and um, it started to spin up, and all of a sudden, oh my gosh, where did the torches go? There they are. Um, it, okay, uh, now I've gotten used to, um, up to find holding a torch, and you can see what you're doing, right? Even if it doesn't actually give you protection, at least you can see what you're doing. <laughs> all right, we're going to make other tools and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and, yeah, so all of a sudden, I'm, I'm thinking, yes, it's going to spin up. It's going to do what I need to do. I need to put that in, because I've been using that since 2006. And it's always worked. It's been working in Windows 10 for four years now. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it sounded like an explosion. Literally, it sounded like maybe one of the transformers outside on one of the poles uh, blew up. And I jumped and screamed. Everybody anywhere close in the house heard it, even though it was nighttime. <laughs> and... Uh, then I realized what had happened was that the CD had fallen out of its case <laughs> or out of the, you know, off the drive thing. And it had broken up into tiny little pieces. That was the only software. You can't get that anymore, that version. So I spent a lot of time looking for another version of software, that something that even might use my files. Let's see what I want to do. I want to put down the crafting table. Come on, again. Um, I, I've looked for stuff before and never found anything that I wanted to use, <sighs> but I did find a, um, let's see, I want to do this, um, there and there, like that, and then I'll make better tools right away here. So yeah, um, I found some software and I have all of my facts and figures. It's like, I was wishing, <laughs> that's way too many, I was wishing that I could just, uh, you know, go on using the software, but I will have to rebuild a checkbook. That's not, that's not a problem. Like I said, I have, I keep my budget. I'm going to get two of those to the nth degree. Um, I need a shovel. And then I need a couple more then to make a sword because I haven't done that yet. Just one to make a sword. There we go. That wasn't too many actually then. I did make an extra axe, so that's okay. All right. So, put that there, put this over here. Oh, I made two shovels then. Okay, that's fine. We need a lot of those probably too. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be underground a lot. Okay, so let's just, since I'm not going to need those for fuel, let's just do this. We're going to um, evidently be at day one here pretty soon because I'm hearing music in the background. Okay. So yeah, it's it's just been a little bit crazy. That was a hard one 
you know, it's like that's going to be a lot of work. Not, you know, it's not huge to set up a new file. No, it's not morning yet. It's just not. It's okay. We're all right then. So I don't think I want to go. Oh, I need to eat some of that stuff. I don't think I want to go down very far. But let's see if we can. Um, we should actually be able to find some iron at these layers. It's better when you're down further. But uh, so I'm trying to be a little bit better because I am going to be doing a lot of tunneling, and there may be water. Hopefully. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to remember to put my torches on the walls. I don't usually do that. I like having them right in the way. That way, sometimes when I come up from a long way away, then I can uh, pick up my torches really easily. It's a little easier than picking them up off the walls. And putting them on one side of the wall or the other does not help me find my way around where I've been. Because a lot of times I'm traveling over the same path more than one time. So it's, yeah, it just doesn't help. Okay, so then I have studied up on the uh, the lighting and how that works. So um, it's these the uh, zero block light that counts. So I'm not finding anything here. Not the uh, not the sky lighting any longer. And yes, you you can go 14 blocks apart before you uh, run down to zero block light from a torch. In fact, let's just do that right here. Let's check on the F3 and it tells me that I have, uh, uh, where's the lighting? Lighting, lighting, cl uh, the client light. Um, I have 14 block light right here and zero sky, of course. Um, all right, so we're going to travel. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, right there. And it doesn't matter whether you go up and down hill. Two, so that's what 11 now I believe and you can see how dark it's getting so three more two three two three and we should have then zero block light right here it's got one so I can actually go one more and let's see here oh, let's do that again and it says zero block light right here so if I put a torch here on that block, you can see that there's a little bit of a gradient here, but that will not let things spawn, especially if I'm within this 14 block space, right? But now we're going to actually end up going back up. I didn't find anything that I needed. And let's see, andesite will be good to help perhaps with building an aquarium or terrarium. I'm actually just going to do this. Now, once I get past this spot here and 10 blocks away, now up here, that's this was 14 between, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Another three blocks here at the top of these stairs, and things can spawn down there because I'm that many blocks away because I'm, I'm going up as well. So, yeah. Okay, we're not quite at day one yet, but I want to... Whoa, don't fall in that hole. That's not the one that you need to dig out, silly woman. Come on, do it. Still dark. Okay. All right, so yeah, I might want to go back down then. But now I could conceivably have something down there waiting for me because it would be sensing me and it would be far enough away. So, okay, one, two, three, four, five. And I found that I like to place my lights at about the sixth one just to make sure that that little bare spot isn't in there and I can see as I'm going downhill so one two three four five six I was doing five uh, a long time ago I used to do four because that's as far as you can get away from your light now that's been changed and so if you put your lights uh, 14 blocks apart out three four is that four one two three four five six see how dark it is there? I could maybe do the seventh one but yeah Okay, so that's one. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're not going to have anything spawning that close to us, obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six, but that gives me a little better lighting. That's three, four, five, six. Now, generally speaking, I'm probably just going to do five because I'm going to get go ahead and get the rest of this stuff that's in here while it's... Ah, of course it is day now. Yeah, so 
because it's easier to see and it's you know your reach of your pickaxe is five so this is why I put them on the floor see I can just do them when I'm going up it's one of the reasons I put them on the floor it's just just simpler all the way around okay so yeah let's not get caught in there let's go ahead and get out here and hopefully there's not anything there I'm gonna make a run for it cuz I'm gonna get in the water just in case and uh, come back with the second episode which I will be doing right now and then I've got to get to bed it's early in the morning and I'm a night owl but yeah okay so I'll be seeing you in the next episode thanks for watching and bye for now